tonight on Kitchen Nightmares. Gordon may be in the city of brotherly love. All right now, I'm getting mad. But no one is feeling the love at Chirella's. Put it up, let's go! Chef Ramsay is in for a major struggle with a proud but misguided husband and wife team. The food was disgusting. I, I disagree with you. While well, one deals with the failing business. I don't know what you are doing! By fighting back. All right now, I'm getting mad. The other has given up. It's just so much I'm afraid of. Not surprisingly, the marriage is at its breaking point. What the hell is going on with you? Get ready for a night of raw emotion. It ain't her fault, it's my fault. As Chef Ramsay tries to rebuild not just a restaurant. You've got to bounce back. But an owner's confidence as well. I shouldn't even be here. Tonight, failure might just be an option in Philadelphia. Do you know you can turn this around? Save your money. Shut the door! What is that? Disgusting crap. You're done. I'm done. I'm not done. Shut the place down. Get out of here. That is amazing. I just can't thank you enough. South Philadelphia, boasting some of the most authentic Italian restaurants in the country, and home to Chirellas. Good evening, two. In 2007, Tommy and Dina DeFino opened this restaurant after Dina's parents closed the original Chirellas, which was located in Wildwood, New Jersey. My parents owned the original Chirellas. Phenomenal business, busy every night, packed. We just figured once we opened here, we would be just as successful here as Chirellas was in Wildwood. Hello, how you doing? When we first opened Chirellas, Tommy was fun and happy. How you doing? Oh, great, great, great. Can be better. But as business went down, who didn't come in? A four, a two, a four. Why? Like, I don't know. Tommy became like a completely different person. <sighs> the success in Wildwood did not at all follow me to Philly. Yeah. No, man. A lot of people didn't come in. Oh, don't worry about it. Great little restaurant. The menu is fantastic. Um, we have good food. And I can't figure out what the problem is. How's everything, ladies? It's too greasy. Yeah, it's your opinion. Tommy and Dina need to admit, like, our food blows, and that's it. What happened with that? Sean, like that. If they think something's wrong with that salmon, they themselves, all right? You have to put out what people want. And we're not doing everything. Not at all. So you take me, I'm done. When there's problems in the kitchen, Tommy just goes, I ain't dealing with the and he leaves. <laughs> he just goes down in the basement and lifts his little weights. <laughs> and he does his crazy sit-ups or whatever on the chair. Or he'll just practice his golf swing. That's a shank. <laughs> Maybe one time the golf ball hit him in the head because he is not himself. And he's mentally breaking down. Everybody know what my check is? I lost the check. Unless it's down my ears. Is it down my ears? Is it? But I can't figure it out. When I see the restaurant doing poorly and I see an empty restaurant, it's the worst feeling you can ever imagine. Why, why is this happening to me, man? I, it's just, it's, I, I, gotta, I gotta pick myself up. Tommy can't deal with the lack of business. It's driving him crazy. Uh, yeah, anyway. That's the first business no more, man. Maybe I don't know what to do. Over the last couple years, the stress, Tommy's just like drained from it. Let's get this night over, man, because I want to get out of here. And I want Tommy to be happy, because he deserves that. This is not right. I'm not even doing enough business to keep my electric and gas on. I can't lose this. This was it. This was everything. I can't lose the restaurant, I'm dead. I'm in South Philly, known to the locals as the Red Sauce neighborhood, because this place is surrounded with great Italian restaurants. Now, I'm really looking forward to checking out Chirellas. It's small. Oh, hello. Hello, how are you? Nice to see you. And your first name is? Dina. Dina. And the name, Chirello, came from? My, my father, oh, wow. my family. OK, well. We wow. had a restaurant in Wildwood. And how long was it in Wildwood for? 36 years. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. And did you spend time there? Oh, uh, all my life. Oh, you're not that old, are you? Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> we need Chef Ramsay's help because Tommy needs to take control of his business and himself. 
to make things work. And that is our problem. And Mr. Chirillo, he oversees it? He's retired. Oh, he's retired. This wow, is wow. mine and my husband's place. May I meet your uh, husband? Yes. Please? Thank you. I'm find where he is. Excellent. <laughs> Thomas, are you in the bathroom? No, I'm right here. Can you come up here, babe? Is he, uh, is he in the kitchen? No, Thomas doesn't cook. He doesn't cook? No. Hey! hey. Pleasures. Um, pleasure's all mine, bud. Pleasure. Good to see you. You, you, look, uh, you look fit. Yeah, a little bit. Um, let's sit down, let's have a, a catch up, and let's find out what's going on, shall we? You got yeah. it. If I knew exactly why I needed help, I wouldn't need Chef Ramsay. So, Dina, yes. so whose idea was it to move that name and to buy well, in South My Philly? father retired. Right. And we needed to figure out what we were going to do with our lives. I mean, mm -hmm. all we know is the restaurant business, that's all we knew. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with the restaurant, <laughs> Dina? What? Nah, no consistency. No consistency. Service, food? I think our food is better than the area's food around here. It's quality, right. it's fresh. But Dina just said you're inconsistent. What's inconsistent is the customers. So the food's consistent, but the yes. customers are inconsistent. Yes, right. I don't the, think they like the, Italian food. Come on. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I stand behind our food. But what's missing from the restaurant? We don't know what's missing. Customers. Well, OK. okay. In terms of how this place is run, I mean, who, who, who actually runs it? Me. You're in charge. And how many days a week are you here? Maybe two or three. And you always agree with what Tommy's doing? Ready? Yeah. I don't agree with the way he runs the kitchen. You're not no. taking it seriously enough? Oh, I take it serious. It's just, there's not enough business. It's just... That's not the issue. The issue is you can't better your business the way you're running it. Please take your time. Well, out. he's asking a question. You know what I mean? you're he's asking so a mean. question. I'm and here every day. You don't have you know. to be here every day. And I go home, and, and that's what I do. I, I, okay. I don't fully understand because why this he, place he is not working. He keeps denying what the real issue is. I didn't think she felt like that. I, I thought, we'll try. Can I just have a, uh, a word with this man on his yes. own for two minutes, please? I love my wife, but this restaurant has killed our relationship. It killed us. Listen, I can see you hurting. That's why I want a word with you personally, that's all. I'm embarrassed. She thinks I'm care of me. But it's my fault. It's not even my wife. I'm the man. Italian, I'm the man. I'm, I'm buried. I stay in bed because I'm afraid to get up. I'm afraid who's going to call me after me? Who's going to shut my gas off? I need help here. I need somebody to help me, man. Because this business has been absolutely horrendous. And uh, it's the worst feeling you can ever imagine. Coming up. That's ghastly. I feel like I've just given birth. Gordon discovers how deep Tommy has fallen into depression. What the hell is going on with you? How far the restaurant has sunk. It's like cat food and how fed up Dina has become. All right, now I'm getting mad. It's fight time in Philly. Put it up, let's go! I don't know what you are doing! Coming up on Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> After a disheartening conversation with Dina and Tommy. I'll give me now the tea. Thank you. Thank you. Chef Ramsay is hoping to find encouragement from Torello's menu. OK. Casual gourmet dining. Whoa. Wow, do they have veal? Uh, veal cutlet Johnny, veal parmesan, veal cutlet with roasted peppers, veal scalapino, veal southern bocca, veal charella, veal sinatra, veal francese, veal piccata, veal masala, veal cutlet roberto, and veal maya. Wow, there's so much veal on here, I don't see any chicken. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven chicken dishes. That's insane. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, well, thank you. Your first name is? I'm Renata. Renata. Pleased to meet you. You too. Is that real? All these veal and chicken dishes? Yeah. Damn. And these names, veal, Trella. Yeah. And down here, the steak, uh, Michael Anthony, these are all named after people. Yeah, they're all named after the family. So why have they got a veal Sinatra? Yeah, so I think they run out of names. <laughs> Frank Sinatra is not a relative of the family. I think they had to get a little creative with it. So why not go with a Sinatra? He's a great singer, right? <laughs> OK, um, let's order, shall we, darling? Yes. Um, why not go for the Ville Sinatra? Sure. 
Yeah, and the steaks are in. Let's go for that. Uh, mid rare, please, thank Medium rare. Next, I'll go for the land and sea uh, sherry. Is that okay if we use a New York strip for it? Oh. Where you don't have filet. Hold on a minute. No filet. Oh, you're kidding me. It says filet on the menu. Yeah, I know. It's a problem. <laughs> oh, wow. How long has it been no filet? We probably haven't had it since I've been here. How long have you been here? Four and a half years. Wow. And does it still cost the same? Uh, yeah. Wow, we've changed the filet mignon to now a New York strip. And These menus are over straight from uh, when they had the place on the shore. These are the menus from the old restaurants? Yes. So they've never had their own identity? No. But why don't we just change the menu? I've been saying that since I've gotten here. Wow. So are you going to get the landed sea charade or...? Yep, yeah, let's okay. go for that, yeah. How would you like your steak cup? Uh, mid rare, please, darling. Medium rare. Okay, I think we're done, darling. All right, I'll be right back. Lovely, thank you. You need a veal sinatra, land and sea charade. I told him it was a strip, medium rare, he wants it. And steak charade, medium rare. Well. Chef Rance, you know, probably not like the food, but it's the family menu, it's not a, my menu. Bathroom's downstairs, honey. Yeah, downstairs yep. to the right. Watch, Watch your step. step. Thank you. Wow. What's that? You are kidding me. What the hell? What the hell is this? Oh my god. What is this, the gym? Oh, <laughs> man. What's this guy doing? That is incredible. It's like the surface of the moon. Tommy? Tommy? Would you like me to go get them for you? Yes, please. Sure. Oh, my God. Bang, straight through. He's in your office. Oh, God. Tommy. Yes, sir. What the hell is this down here? <laughs> it's, it's my, huh? it's my, uh, it's my office. I want to get a membership at your gym. Is this, uh, <laughs> is this where you come to sort of relieve a bit yes, of stress? Yes, exactly. Do you work out in here? Yeah. Every day? Yeah. Oh, I've got these weights on my throw in the middle of the street. I swear to God. When Tommy gets stressed out, he goes downstairs, starts lifting weights, starts hitting balls with golf clubs. What's this? Yeah. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. There's holes in the wall. He's punched some holes in the walls. He'll say it wasn't him. It was. That wasn't me. Man. That wasn't me. And that on the wall there? That's my golf balls. So it's a driving range as well, isn't it? Yeah. I broke a few TVs. Yeah. Wow. OK. All right, this coming out, too. Is this a steak coming? The steaks are in, all right? All right. I think Chef Ramsay will like our food. Thank you, darling. You know, I know you hear that on every show, but our food is great. So this one is what, darling? That's a steak serian. Steak. Oh, it's a brujou mozzarella. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. Man, look at that. That is frightening. I feel like I've just given birth. I guess that's the placenta. I go up to see if he's all right. Please, boy. Mm. Renata. Yeah. Um, it's a mess. It's a clumsy mess. The steak is raw, and that is what is that? Brazil mozzarella. What a disgusting combination. Tommy. Yes. Two seconds. Uh oh. Um, steak is raw, and that's supposed to be mozzarella and what? Brazil prosciutto. Honestly, I mean that is uh, that's ghastly. Like someone's thrown up on my plate. Tommy, have a word with the chef, would you please? Yeah. yeah. I know my food's good. I know it's good. I know it's I mean, pretty good. What's wrong? No, no. What? This was rare. So not good at all. It's rare. When the kitchen messes up, Tommy, instead of you know telling them to set their game up, like let's go, like he just mopes around. <laughs> Biggest mistake in my life. Your Sinatra. Okay, thank you, darling. That is costly. Are you kidding me? Veals are specialty. I have people that order the veal Sinatra all the time, including myself. Renata, please. That's dreadful. It's just chewy. You know, they lost all the texture when they pound the veal. It's just such a shame. Okay. 
This is Helene and see Cherie. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh dear. The Asian lobsters, these are these are crayfish. Large crawfish. So I didn't get my filet mignon and I didn't get my lobster. It's a cheap imitation lobster. I'm gonna hack that off there. That's bright white, so that's just overcooked. Absolutely chewy as anything. My God. It's bland, it's chewy, it's, it's an insult to Italy. Renata, um, I would just like you to taste this. That's a crayfish, by the way. It's not even lobster. It's a spiny okay. lobster. It's a crayfish okay. too. But it's solid. Everything's overcooked. Ugh. Jesus, Lord, help us. I'd like okay. Tommy to taste those lobsters. Sure. Thank you, then. You're welcome. Good day. You're gonna run away. Hang on. Cut it out. All right, pick yourself up and stop it. He wants you to taste the chewy lobster. So eat up, but I just had to taste the lobster. It was a matter of it was too chewy. Yeah, you know, I'm getting like really pissed. I have really good food. Chef Ramsay might not agree with that. I think it was all right. But it still comes back to, I have really good food. But I know I do. No, that was foul. Um, I'm done to meet the chef. Yeah. Can I go back? Joe, let's get them out. <laughs> Tommy and Dina never thought every single meal that we would send out would get critiqued that big. OK, let's, let, let's come around, buddy, let's, so we can talk. But everything that we do here needs improvement. See so the head chef. Yeah. How long have you been working here? Like almost close to five years. Five years. I'm going to tell you straight. If that's the best this restaurant's got to offer, it's embarrassing. It's 2012, and we're serving food from 1970. Are you happy with that setup? It's not true. I'm 28 years old. This man is older than me. But me, you don't let me change the menu. Like, you need to change something different. I can't blame him entirely. I've got to blame the individuals that he's working for. You two. Because you've handicapped him. You know, the stuffed entree first. It was gross. Steak was raw, cooked one side. And if there's one thing you don't do to a New York strip, is stuff it. B, land and sea. And you know that's not lobster, that's called a crayfish. So we haven't even got filet mignon and we haven't got lobster on the menu, yet the dish is titled with both the headlines, lobster, filet. But the horror for me today was to discover that you've got a menu that has screwed you from the first night you opened. It's absolute utter madness, and you don't need me to tell you that. I still stand, I still stand, by, stand, by, I still stand by my food. But you're in denial. You no, must... I'm not in denial. When you sit and tell me that food is good, there's nothing wrong with it. You it must... ain't her fault. It's my <laughs> fault. It's my fault. I flew into the <laughs> fault. But where am I going? You've to given you? him an impossible we task. Should... We start a whole new menu. I think our food's still good. I, I, I disagree with you a little. Well, bit. now you're in denial. The food was disgusting. Well, I, I disagree with that. But that's your opinion. Come on. You are going to have to get your head out your ass. With the owners and Chef Ramsay having vastly different opinions of the food. How you doing, sir? I've had better news. Uh, nice neighborhood. How are you? Gordon yeah. is curious to see how the locals react during dinner service. Uh, what are you doing this evening? Tell me the uh, roles. Hosting. Hosting, great. And what are you doing? I waiter. Wait. Wow. Tommy tends to think he is a waiter. I'm gonna stay in my section. Don't start out wrong. And he needs to understand that he is the owner. He is not a worker. All right, I'll get the order in as soon as I can. Good evening. How are we? Right this way. There's some bread for you. I'm going to have the old man. I'm going to try the mozzarella and roast the pepper. Excellent choice. Hi, guys. Got us tied down here. Huh? Yeah. All right, first table in. Are you just going to read these things out? Tommy, who's expediting? Who's expediting this? Who, 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 who's, who's expediting? I don't know. I'll let you know in a second. Wow. So no one calls out an order. No. There's no system. Uh, Philippe, that's normal. Even when I'm not here, that's the same. Every time it happens like this, every day. Every day. Are you not fed up? Sometimes Tommy and I run the kitchen. So I have to do myself. Philippe, I don't know how far you want this done. Oh. It's wrong. He's the boss. I'm not the boss. It's fine. Despite no expediter and no real system in the kitchen, 
Felipe quickly pushes food out to the diners. The old Johnny? Ravioli and the meatball. But it quickly becomes apparent that the customers are far from satisfied. Yes. OK, I'll take off the meatball. What's wrong? Uh, they didn't like the meatballs. Just um, two seconds. Let me taste the meatball. Tommy, yes. come in. I just want you to taste that for me. I mean, it's disgusting. And if anyone tells me again that their food is amazing, I'm going to blow my lid. It's like cat food. Come on, Tommy. It's definitely up to Tommy to make sure everything goes out perfect, nothing comes back, and the restaurant wants to move. I mean, that's the main problem right now. I don't even care no more, man. How's everything, ladies? It's greasy and water. And I tried to eat it, but I really don't like it. That's all right. John, what, what's the matter with it? Um, it's stringy and it's glittery. All right, Tom. I think you need to go back in the back and check on your cooks. Keep going back there nervous, and just... Man, I'm afraid. Tommy needs to stand up for himself. I'll go expedite. That was no, you go expedite. You go expedite. You want to expedite. Now you're acting stupid. Instead of him going back there and talking to his chef, he's hiding and leaving it up to me. And it's not supposed to be like that. All right, now I'm getting mad. Put the food that we need up. Who's are messing up my own friggin' restaurant. Give me table 10 and give me the pasta specials. What a nightmare. Honestly, Dina's, she's trying her best. Tommy, well, he's not even there. He's just all over the shop. No wonder there's so many complaints. This restaurant's just not going anywhere. It's such a shame. Look at that. That's disgusting. How's everything? It's oil. I got dreams. Give me three bowls right here, real quick. Three bowls? Yeah, I'm a dream. It's too oily. What is all that? It's a bowl, Tom. He's putting too much oil. I didn't want to go back there. So you're not going to say anything to him? Yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, let me go back. No, don't. Get, get, get. Now give me the give me the oil, Felipe. No, just all swimming in oil, and you weren't gonna say anything. You can't drain that off like that and then serve it back to the customers. They deserve better than that. Who said drain it out? No, that's what he was doing on the side. He's draining the thing on the it's side. A little bit of oil drained out. That's Who right. said? It's it's Tommy. Yeah. But it's so simple. And do you know what? Hey, Tommy. This is getting embarrassing. My God. Dysfunctional owners and a dysfunctional kitchen. I'm already embarrassed in life. You can't embarrass me anymore. But guess what? I found out that you can't be embarrassed even more. In his rock bottom, you can hit even deeper than rock bottom. I tell you I need him, I'm telling you that's the one. And everybody get it together. With Dina now firmly in charge of the kitchen. Craggy. Craggy. And Tommy retreating to the basement. Let's just put up the two tables and end it. This extremely rocky dinner service comes to an end. I don't know what to say. I, I, I'm just almost uh, lost of words. But even when food was coming back, no one gave a no one gives a damn. We're serving and you tell me your food's good. I think our food is really good. You're going to have to get your head out of your ass. And Tommy, I fell for you today. I just thought you were under immense pressure, but you hide like it's a game. I'm not here to play a game with any of you. I just, I the confrontation at the time right now, I'm not feeling that great. Confrontation? We're not even a confrontation. It's about being responsible, Tommy. Yes. Orichetti was swimming in oil. You're draining it off. This is not a time to be nervous and wimping around. But right now, you're all in denial. And do you know what? Do you know how you can turn this around and make money? Honestly, Dina, Tommy, stop and save your money. Shut the door. After 24 hours of sheer frustration, dealing with owners in denial, Chef Ramsay decides to make a home visit. Hello. Nice to meet you. Likewise, good to see you. To have a chat with Dina and her eldest daughter, Danae. Rough morning? Um, you know, I woke up a little upset because, like I said, I really feel I have good food. Mm -hmm. I, I stick by that. I know you're here to help me. Mm -hmm. But I was humiliated. I suppose, if I put it this way, outside that restaurant, there's better okay. and cheaper restaurants. Okay. 
your menu does not work in South Philly. So basically what he's saying is that your food isn't horrible. It's just that there's a million Italian restaurants in one area. You're right. I didn't say the food was horrible. I said it was disgusting. No, I'm, I'm... No, 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 no. Here, 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 here's the issue. Oh. Here's the issue. You're in denial that your food is good. It is. OK. Darling, if that's the case... That's the bottom line. I'm, I'm going to go. Seriously, A, I'm not going to waste your time. B, I'm not going to waste my time. But more importantly, yo, I'm not going to deal with someone that is that deluded. You want help? Yes. You don't like the help that I'm suggesting? I guess I'm scared. Don't be scared. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Scared of staying the same. You've got to, you've got to grasp a, a complete new change. And that's scary territory. I have great memories of Chirellas. And I've been doing this for so long, it's all I know. So it's very hard for me to get past the past, get on with this future. It's not working. It's the truth. I know what you're saying to me, that I have to go. The menu's outdated, things aren't right, the food's different. We'll try our best. OK. Um, I came by here this morning to talk about Tommy because there's this level of depression that's sinking this man. And you can see this figure just almost disintegrating. And I've seen small little fragments of a personality. There's oh, he's got that... such a great personality. OK. We need to get him back. Because I don't think he actually understands. No, no, he doesn't. This place just wiped him out. It wiped him out. It did. If there's one area that he'll listen to, it's the family. And I just think you need to tell him what he means to you and how we want to see him back at his best. Hey, good morning. Oh, my man. How are you, bud? Good. Take a seat, please sit down. How are you doing? Good. Yeah? Good sleep? No, I don't think so, no. Let me tell you something. Um, I came to see uh, your family this morning because I'm concerned that you've lost that spark. Self-esteem is a sort of all-time low, and before I can make any changes, Tommy, I need you back. I need to see that spark. Dina. I want you back. I love you. I want me back, too. <laughs> Listen, I love you. I know you love me, babe. It's just so much I'm afraid of, you know what I mean? The problem with the restaurant's me. You know, it's me. I shouldn't even be there, you know? An owner should, should make sure everything runs pro. I, it's me, you know what I mean? I'm afraid. And I'm not the same person I was in my whole you life. You have I've to been... get that person. You gotta reach inside, Tommy, and pull it out. What person am I pulling out? You, the real you. The real what you. you. What the hell out? is going on with you? Pull it out. What do you mean, what person are you pulling out, Dad? Come what here. person am I pulling out? Are you kidding? The last seven years? Dad, it's because you don't think. Well, what am I pulling back? That guy out that's tired and exhausted and never sees anything good ever happen in his life? I don't like what you feel your whole life, man. It hurts. You wow. failed your whole life. We've got three beautiful kids. We love you. We want you to be happy. Yeah, I have to pull yourself out of this. I got it. I know. I got it. You got, you got your. We I need, love I need, you. I need, I need, I need a good day We're sleep, so man. proud of you. I'm weak. You know? You don't weak. think anybody's proud of you. It's not true. They don't understand, man. I'm so depressed. My whole life, I've been a failure. It's been awful. It's been an awful life, man. It is clear that Tommy's depression is one of the major problems to the restaurant. Why you feel your whole life, man? It hurts. And Chef Ramsay knows that before he can make any changes, Tommy needs to change. How could you feel your whole life? You've got three beautiful kids. We love you. We want you to be happy. Yeah, I have to pull yourself out of this. I got it. I know. I got it. You got, you got your. We I need, love I need, you. I need, we we're so man. proud of you. I'm weak. You know, you don't weak. think anybody's proud of you. It's not true. You haven't failed. 
love you. You, you have know? failed. You have you not failed. You haven't failed. We're You're still a lucky you know? man. You're an amazing kid, an amazing wife, and I'm telling you, you know, and you, you have know not it. failed. You can't give up. You've got to bounce back. I, mean, I got to. Okay? I gotta get tough again. Come on. He needs need you. you back. Tommy Bones. I he need needs the you. funny, charismatic, yes. witty, energetic I I'm man. Not. I got it. That's what I need. I gotta pull That's back. That's what he's down. trying to exactly say. Exactly that. We can make great changes, but unless you're back. It's gonna work right now. Nothing's gonna work. Thank you. You're right. That's it. Okay. I, I wanna right. fight, yeah. Okay, good. I'll see you back at the restaurant. Yeah, new day. It was important to hear from my family. Sometimes you, you, know, you get knocked down a lot. You don't realize you're not getting back up. I think it's time we gotta get back up. So I'm a fighter. This nose don't look like this for a reason. Come on, Ow, man. Come on, man. I love that guy. With Tommy beginning the day with a more positive outlook. Let's go. Huh? I want you in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were going to taste it. Yeah. Chef Ramsay is anxious to get Tommy more involved in the kitchen. What you've never, ever got to fear is your kitchen. This is the engine room. The more he sees you supporting him, the closer you guys get. I'm very happy that Chef Ramsay's doing this because Thomas doesn't have the experience in the kitchen. Right, now we're going to make some orecchetti. And he needs to understand that this is his entity. This is his business. Oil in. Garlic in. This is the first time I've ever been cooking on the line, let alone with Chef Ramsay. That's pretty scary. <laughs> That's scary. So far, so good? You with me? Yeah. What's the matter? This stuff's tough, man. Let's go. Where's my way wine? Nice. Good? That's enough? A little shake? Oh. Come on, you. Come on. Dude, what's the matter with you? God's <laughs> sake. It's very difficult, but if I know my, my kitchen, I can take all this place. Run the way it's supposed to be run. Now taste the seasoning. Well done. Nice. Wow. You happy with that? I'm a chef now. Nice. Tommy was really proud of himself. Like, I made that Dina. Nice. Now that Tommy learned a few things with Chef Ramsay, it'll give Tommy a chance to take control of our business. It's going to be a new start for us. Well done. All right, let's go. With the rebuilding of Tommy's confidence underway, Chef Ramsay and his team worked through the night. And in just 12 hours, they transformed Chirellas into a slick, Contemporary eatery. Good morning. Hello. Hey, how are you? Well, Amazing. good to see you. Are you ready to come inside? Yes. Ready to take your jacket. Yes. <laughs> come through. Come in. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, oh it's yeah. nice. Oh my god. That's phenomenal. Oh my god. How'd you do that first? Oh my god. <laughs> it was a nice hall before, and now it's another table. We're going to use this bar to eat from. It's gorgeous. It's stunning, and it's a main feature as you walk in. It's gorgeous, I mean, yeah. It really is. Are you ready to see next door? Yeah, I'm ready. OK, great. Come through, please. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my god. It's Holy How did you do that? Gone is that old-fashioned 70s mustard color. You have this nice, light, pale gray that opens up the room. The room looks yeah. twice as big. It looks great. huge. New light fittings. Look at the lights. Look nice. at these lights there. They are unreal. <laughs> There is a feature in the centre of this dining room, reclaimed wood, local wood, and it's part of the community, shelving adjacent. All these little touches give a contemporary feel to this dining room. It's so nice. You should be an architect, too. How do you know all this stuff, yeah. man? On the table, we got rid of those hideous cloths. We've got white, crisp linen, all new china, a very cool slab of slate, salt peppers. All these little touches give a contemporary feel to this dining room. You brought the yeah. neighborhood into yeah. the restaurant. It's phenomenal. It looks like the city. It looks like it should look. It looks like the neighborhood. The neighborhood will want. Oh, my god. I love it. You're phenomenal, man. Happy? Oh, my yeah. god, my happy. This is the best day of my life besides having my kids. <laughs> I love the look of the restaurant. It looks brighter, it looks bigger. We definitely will have our own identity. Not only has Chef Ramsay given the restaurant's interior a modern makeover. OK, come over, please. Wow, I'll get food not on me. He's also done the same with the 30-year-old menu. Right, the beauty of this menu, it's small, powerful. It sends out all the right messages. Yes. Gone are the 75 dishes. I like that. It looks wonderful. Oh, by the way. 16 veal, 12 chicken, all gone. Thank God. Now, let's start off from the top. Classic Italian, antipasto. Next to that, you've got arancini, 
parmesan, smoked paprika, aioli, and parsley. Small but powerful. Like so Entrees, chicken parmesan. It's a staple, it's a classic. Veal masala, oregano masala, mushrooms and spinach. It looks so good. After that, you've got a classic spaghetti meatball. Big hearty dish that just ooze Italy. Arrochetti, this time it's not going to be swimming in oil. And Tommy's going to be taking it back <laughs> and draining it. Dina, what do you think, darling? I love it. You love it? Phenomenal. Tommy, what do you think? Well, I love it, man. Love yeah? it. Yeah, love it. Man. Good, good. One more thing to talk to you about. Felipe is not going to learn how to cook this in a day. I know that. You need help. Yes. I phoned an amazing, talented chef. He's been here since first thing this morning. He's been in there, he's been working, and you need to get close to this guy. Gotcha. Yeah, please say hello. Good to see you, well. Chef Mike Trout. Mike, good to see you, buddy. Let me introduce you to our owners. This is Dina. Hi, Mike. Thank you. Nice and this you. is Tommy. Tommy, pleasure. Pleasure. Thank Good to you. see you. Thank you very much. First of all, local boy. Train is not the best restaurant in the country, but more importantly, this man knows exactly what you need. I'm very, very excited with the chef Mike Trout. Chef Ramsey definitely set me off for success. It's up to me now. Food looks amazing. Great new menu tonight. Let's get excited. Let's focus and have a great service. Good, good. Thank you. Good job. Seen that short. Yeah. Thank you. Brilliant. I mean, it makes me feel good. I don't have to worry about the kitchen as much, you know. Right, dig in, guys. Come on, dig in, dig in, dig in. Wow. That's good. I really like this. I really like that. Oh my god, that's good. That sauce is so good. That food is delicious. I mean, I could keep eating it and I'm full. <laughs> that is good. Yeah, it's so good. Everything is good. Meatballs are good meatballs, dude. I like the meatballs. The new trails is fantastic. Thomas, taste this, babe. What is that, just meatballs? Our menu was a dinosaur. What a difference from food. 36 years of that menu, out with the old and in with the new. That looks so good, I'm so happy. This is a good life. Coming up. All right, Tom, they've been waiting for a while. It's the all important relaunch of Chirellas. I messed up on the table number. I knew it was running way too smooth. Will Tommy finally step up and take control? One little mistake, we don't collapse. Or will he crumble and take his restaurant with him? Tom, don't screw this up, please. It's relaunch night at Chirellas. Everybody know their menus? Yes, yes. With chef consultant Mike Trout. Guiding Felipe behind the line. You know, one at a time, one at a time. Don't get too far ahead of us. All eyes are on a re energized Tommy. Let's go. Hello, hello, how are you? Three. Folks, welcome to the new Shirelles. How are you? Have a nice dinner. You're welcome. Relaunch night is a big night. Have a nice dinner. But if Tommy steps up and does what he's supposed to do, everything will be great tonight. Any folks at the order? Yes. Yes. Can I have the Caesar salad? I'm going to have the buffalo mozzarella bruschetta. I'm going to get the strip, please. All right, check in, guys. First one. Order in. Soup, calamari, and buffalo. Let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go tonight, guys. Let's go. Come on. With Tommy leading his staff. Fire up four. Fire up four. Calamari, soup, and livers. Dishes are going out at a rapid pace. Service, please. Uh, pesto crostini. Oh boy, enjoy. <laughs> this is really, really good. While most of the diners are ecstatic with the new menu. I've never eaten this much. It's just so good. Can we get another one of those? That was so good. There is one table that is feeling left out. Yeah. I'm hungry. Renata, where is their dinner? I don't know. What table is this? There was one table. I could see they were getting a little antsy. I knew it was running way too smooth tonight. Tommy has to step up and really do what he's got to do. All right, Tom, Dina wants to know about table 20, because they've been waiting for a while. Cracking under the pressure, man. Yeah. I messed up a table now. I messed up a table now. I messed up on a table now. Tom, don't screw this up. Please. Tommy? I said to you, one little mistake, we don't clap. Stay on top of it. Don't change it. Get on with it. Let's go. Come on. Chef Ramsey's definitely right. Take it easy. Relax. It's just a little bump in the road here or there. There's an owner. I got to go back there. Mike, I made a mistake on the table number, Mike. What do you need? 16 supposed to be 20. Coming right now. Thank you. You'll be out in about five minutes. Is all right? Hey, thank you. Nice. Keep it going. Come on, Tommy. Keep it going. Come on, come on, Ray. How are we looking here? How are we looking here? Coming right now. Table 20. Table, you follow me. Table 20. Hurry up. Seeing Tommy step up and run the business was fantastic. Spectacular. Soup's right here. Enjoy it. Come on, let's go, Tommy. All good. Come on, baby. Lift it. Do your thing. It is delicious. Seriously. Very good. I move this down, Mark. 
We're good in here. We're good in here. We're good in here. We're good. In here. We're good, in here. We're good in here. Nice, yes. nice. Good, good, good. Lasagna, baby. Bon yes. Tommy now is showing his true passion for this business now, his true love for this business. He's full of enthusiasm, he's full of life. Good job, Michael. Tommy's back. He's, just, he's himself again, and I'm very, very happy for him. Good job tonight, great job. I'm the boss. Okay, well, how are we feeling? Great, great. great. Fantastic, brother. <laughs> you should be. I know. Uh, this restaurant looked and felt like a completely different restaurant than I first walked into at the beginning of the week, let me tell you that. Tonight, Chirillas was the place to be in Philadelphia, Thank let you. me tell you that. Thank you. You've got to maintain that now. You've got to keep it. You gotta keep cannot it. go backwards. To the team, well done. Please, please. And a great job, Mike and Felipe. Felipe, Felipe, excellent. Um, can I have a quick word with you two, please? Uh, well done. Good job. Good job, yes? Well done. Tommy just seems like he's a different person. He feels secure in running his business. He was Tommy. <laughs> OK. Did you notice how well your kitchen ran tonight? Excellent. Definitely. Yeah. The standard was night and day tonight. Oh, yes. You two work well together. Yes, we, we do. do. And you've forgotten that. And your tenaciousness, he needs that. Yes. Yeah. And tonight, I could see and hear the old Tommy. And it's just, it's moving. But Torella's together. Needs both of you. Dean and Tommy. I got exactly what you're saying. Yep. And you can do it. Yes. Yes. Chef Ramsey, he, he, he's a good man with a big heart. Uh, look after yourself, will you? Thank you, guy. Yeah. I love you, man. <laughs> look after yourself. We should have fixed me. But he did fix the restaurant, don't get me wrong. But he was here to fix me. And I hope I stay like this. Take care. God bless. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When you consider the changes we made to the food, the decor, and how this restaurant was run, this is the biggest transformation of any Italian restaurant I've ever done. But I'm leaving here with one big question, and that is, will Tommy and Dina maintain the high standards that we set tonight? I promise you, only time will tell. In the weeks that followed, fire up table 10. The combination of a confident Tommy, yeah, baby, and a supportive Dina have made it possible for Torellas to maintain the high standards set by Chef Ramsay. This is decadent. Yes, yeah, really good. And this once fractured couple is truly united as a team. When Chef Ramsay came to our restaurant, we were not thrilled at all with what he had to say. I got five right here. I got it. I know. All right, go. But with change comes opportunity to grow and be stronger. And I'm hoping that this will become the best Italian restaurant in South Philadelphia. New beginning, Terrell. Ready? <laughs> One, two, three. New beginning, Terrell! Next time on Kitchen Nightmares, Chef Ramsay visits a Mexican restaurant that has completely lost its way. Come back here and help me. Yeah, right. The restaurant that originally brought this couple together is now tearing them apart. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hurry up! Why? Can Gordon get this husband and wife working together as a team and not as enemies? You got a big issue. Now you think it is my fault, I believe. You don't want to miss the heartbreaking real life soap opera of Zocalos. It's hard for me to watch. The wait is over. The first of eight.